Hey guys, I'm Tyler from Hester Sports Fishing. And I'm TJ from Hester Sport Fishing. And today we're gonna to talk about Columbia River walleye fishing with blade baits. Now blade baits is kind of one of our favorite universal tactics for jigging up walleye. Many different applications for it. There's a lot of different situations you can use and a lot of different types of blades you can use. Now this one is your basic Norisata blade bait. This is a half ounce uh, and plain silver. Now for these blades, you can put different tapes on them. I know you like the chartreuse tapes. I like the silver tapes. You can mix and match different colors, uh, but tr the tried and true is your silver plain blade bait. Now if you look closely here, there's three holes on the blade. The further to the front of the blade that you put your dual lock in, the more action you're going to get. And vice versa, the further back you do on the blade, the less action you're going to get. Now stereotypically, uh, what you do with the blade is you're going to cast it or you're going to jig it. You're searching for the walleye. Exactly. So the front of the blade is primarily used for casting. You're trying to search fish. Uh, when you do a big, you know, 30 yard cast out, it's a little hard to you know, feel the blade and get the blade to have a lot of action. So you try to have the hole or the placement of the hole at the very front so you can get as most action as you possibly can. Uh, correspondingly, when we're vertical, you want maybe a little less action or maybe it's a cold winter month and you don't want the blade vibrating a whole lot. So we use either the middle hole or the back hole. If you're ever in doubt, middle hole out. Yeah. It's always the best one. <laughs> I would say 80% of the time we're in the middle hole. 100%. So again, these come in different sizes, different colors. This is a great bait for searching for fish and if you're on top of different structure. Um, again, one of my favorite ways to do it is to have, you know, the three in three out roll where you have three guys casting around the boat and three guys going vertical over structure as well. And make sure when you do catch fish on these, you're marking your waypoints and remembering where you are fishing with these so you can find fish in the future. Yeah, that's a, that's a big thing when you find a fish, there's usually multiple around it, so you want to stick in that area. So when fishing these blade baits, this is your Akuma Deadeye Custom Series, the 601 MXF. 90% of the time, or 80% of the time, you're going to be in the middle hole of your blade. You lock your dual lock in, and this is a medium extra fast rod. Um, I prefer the six foot as this rod is for your vertical and your not so far casting. They also make a seven foot four uh, dead eye custom rod that's great for casting rods. So if you can, if it's just you, you know, one rod of each is you usually can kind of get it done. You can have multiple if you're fishing multiple guys, but it's nice to have different sticks for different techniques and what you're doing. But when you're jigging them, it's real important that you're not jerking this thing all over the place when you're vertical. It's pretty light action. These blades will move yeah. a lot without a whole lot of action on the rod. A lot of times, just a 12 inch lift of your rod tip and then dropping it slowly down. Lift it back up 12 inches and dropping it slowly down will get the fish to trigger. You Sometimes don't want less than 12 inches too. Yes, Depends. especially in the winter months. Um, you don't want to drop these on a slack line. You want that fall to be controlled. If you're dropping this on a slack line, a lot of times this blade will get twisted up with the line and the hooks will get all messed up. So you're going to control the fall. Remember the walleye will always bite it on the fall. So you want to be able to feel it when the walleye will grasp onto it. One thing I like with the blade baits compared to other jigging techniques is when you're dropping it and it does get tangled up, you know right away. Sometimes with just free jigs, you can have stuff on them or the hooks fouled up and you wouldn't know for a couple minutes. But with these, you know right away. You can always be fishing. Yep. And the last thing, guys, is for these blade baits, they team very well with your scents. Uh, this is one of my favorite ones. I know you like uh, the gels a little bit, mm -hmm. but this is a new product from Procure. They do a great job with these blades. And all we do is we take a little piece of it. We just stick it right on the nose so we don't damage up the uh, the tape or you know discolor the metal. We stick the nose in it and shove it around in there a little bit, get a little extra scent, and it uh, it has helped us in the past. I do think it works a little better than the gel as in staying on, but depends, like other people like other different things and I'm usually trying both throughout the day, so. All right guys, well thanks for looking in. Uh, we talked about what blade baits are, how to use them, when to use them and why to use them. And of course, a couple of extra tips with what kind of rods and some extra scents to uh, spice up your blades, if you will. Thanks for joining us guys. Remember to like and subscribe down below and we'll see you on the water.